We're talking some ACC football with Mike McDaniel from inside the ACC to, to get his perspective on the Heisman race as uh, the early odds have come out, Mike. And Lamar Jackson, obviously, he's going to be the guy that uh, is going to carry the banner for at least uh, as we enter week one. And then maybe some other guys get into the mix. So who looks good to you as uh, we enter 2017 in the chase for the Heisman? Third time's a charm, Mark. You can actually hear me now, there it is. which is good. Yeah, there He's I am. With All us. right. Uh, yeah. Like, no, hey. I, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm glad that worked out. Uh, Lamar Jackson, obviously the, the banner guy, right? I mean, defending uh, Heisman Trophy uh, winner uh, coming off of the huge year that he had for Louisville. You know, I think defenses will be a little bit more prepared for him next year. I think that's, you know, aside from the obvious um, of Louisville losing a lot of talent on both sides of the football, I think more teams will just be more prepared looking at film and finding out a way to shut down Lamar Jackson heading into next season. But that's not to say that he won't put up big numbers once again. I mean, he's a guy that, you know, up until probably the last uh, quarter of the season, last three or four games where he really started to struggle a little bit more due to poor offensive line play, where we saw his numbers take a little bit of a dip. But by then, I mean, the Heisman Trophy was already won. It was a weak field as it is. He jumped out to that huge lead just based, uh, you know, mostly off of the games that he had early on in the season, most prominently, obviously, against Florida State. So, uh, Lamar Jackson is going to have a great opportunity in the ACC as far as Heisman contenders are concerned to once again be in the mix. But then the one other obvious guy is DeAndre Francois, obviously had a very good year for Florida State as a freshman quarterback. He's going to come in, in next year as a redshirt sophomore uh, with all that offensive talent there that the Seminoles have. And he's going to come in and hopefully be able to put up some numbers for Jimbo Fisher in that offense. Florida State may be a little bit, uh, you know, maybe a year too early on the expectations that were had there. Uh, for their program. A lot of people expected them to win the Atlantic Division this year and kind of unseat Clemson because uh, Clemson's been, uh, you know, the reigning Atlantic Division and ACC champion now for the last few years. So I, I think a lot of people were high on Florida State last year. That should continue uh, uh, into next season, of course, as well, with Louisville losing a lot of talent on both sides and Clemson as well, losing all the talent that they had on offense, losing to Sean Watson, Wayne Gallman, Mike Williams, Jordan Leggett. Uh, that's a lot of production loss on that Tigers offense. They have a ton of talent behind them uh, just due to excellent recruiting by Dabo Swinney and his staff, but it's going to take a while for that group to gel, and I think this year's as good as any for Florida State to return once again to uh, the Atlantic Division. I think to, uh, you know, DeAndre Francois will be a huge part of that there, the quarterback position for the Seminoles. So according to Bavada, Lamar Jackson, as you would expect, uh, the ACC favorite uh, at 7-1, to one. And then uh, we also see DeAndre Francois, Florida State at 12 to 1. Uh, Florida State quarterback had a great year uh, last season. I'm looking down the list. I'm looking for more ACC players. I don't see a whole lot there in the top uh, 15 or 20. Is there anybody else, man? When you think Miami's lost its quarterback and Brad Kaya, Mitch Trubisky gone from North Carolina, Gerard Evans, uh, Virginia Tech's quarterback, unexpectedly moving on to the NFL. Uh, a lot of pieces there. And, of course, Deshaun Watson. Uh, we shouldn't forget the best of the bunch moving on uh, to the NFL. So a lot of playmakers at the most uh, prime position, Mike, lost from the ACC. Is there anybody else out there that, that you would expect to maybe, may possibly be a dark horse uh, contender for the Heisman? Yeah, I mean, one guy to really watch for, and the expectations are already soaring on him, is Nikosi Perry, who's going to be a true freshman quarterback for the Miami Hurricanes. And, you know, I think Mark Richt wanted to bring in a quarterback into a system that would be his guy and a guy who could run his offense right away. Nikosi Perry's that guy to replace Brad Kaya, and obviously it's tough for a team like Miami to lose a starter in Brad Kaya, who was a three-year starter and would have been entering his senior year, being, being as successful as he had been. Uh, with up and down offensive line play and some receivers dropping passes in the skill position areas. Um, so, you know, when you look at Miami hanging into next season, I think that Cozy Perry is a guy to watch out for if he indeed wins a starting quarterback job there for the Hurricanes. I think it'll be a pass heavy offense because um, I think that's what Miami ultimately wants to run. They, they want to mix in the run uh, to set up their play action passing game. But you look at all the Georgia offenses over the years. Um, they, they've had a bell cow running back, but they've really liked to throw the ball around a lot as well. And I think that'll be no different heading into next season. So I think if there's one guy outside of Lamar Jackson, DeAndre Francois to really watch out for, I think it's Nicosi Perry at Miami.